Hi everybody, welcome to Fish Keep in Jamaica. My name is Rally and I am presently going to be looking at a topic that has been within the fish um, you know, hobby for a bit. Um, the topic is ponds versus tanks. Now, um, I have been wearing fish for the past uh, two to three years. What I'm about to share with you is not something where I have read or in which someone have told me but rather it's something which i have experienced fish keeping is something that if you are not dedicated you'll find that after a while it, it, it becomes bored and you know it, it just can't be bothered with it people always ask the question easier to keep tanks or ponds because you know they realize several issues vice versa I well mean, i keep both both tanks and part and um i'm about to share with you some of the reasons why some persons look at ponds and, and tanks as advantages versus disadvantages now let us look at ponds now ponds uh comes in very various sizes right in comparison to the tanks you can have a very large very large acres acres upon acres of ponds, right? However, um, the availability of glass or material to make tanks limits to a particular size as to the size that you have for tanks. You might have a thousand gallon, uh, nine hundred gallon, two thousand gallon tank, right? But um, how much of a tank is it? Is it really a tank or is it a tank pond? Okay. Um, one thing for sure is that having a pond, what it does. It allows the fish to hunt for food, whether it be algae or whether it be insect larvae. Now, several insects, whether you like it yes or no, actually lives in pond. Uh, for example, snails. The snails um, have larvae on the leaf of the vegetation which actually might exist within the pond. I have other insects, so that like flies and uh, some little, uh, I don't remember the name. But these insects, they actually have a generation within the pond and depending on the fish that you have, these fish might just use these insects as a source of protein, which is very good, it's not bad, right? So it is like an ecosystem within the, the pond itself. Now, a pond always has vegetation in it and um, because it always has vegetation in it, it allows oxygen to be in the water um, more frequently than with a pond or should I say a tank that is oxygenated by electricity. So um, the other night, two nights ago, I went home. I have 17 ponds at my home, along with five glass fish aquarium. Now I went home, and when I went home, I realized that. Um, the community was totally in darkness, there was no light. And the first thing that comes to mind was what about my fish? Will they actually survive? Now, um, in looking at the, the tanks, I realized, I, by the way, I do not have any backup generator, I don't have any batteries, I don't have any system to chip in whenever light goes. So, what I do, I, um, I actually just depend on the ways of, 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 of you know what exists what I do is to really hope and pray that um, that light will actually return or electricity will return now um, I was not worried about um, the, the, the fish in my ponds outside because they, they are used to having just the water lilies however the ones that were inside when I actually looked at them some of them actually was actually at the surface of the water uh, it's as if they were you know they were they're trying to get some oxygen in their system. So that's that's one of the, the advantages of having a pond versus having a tank. Another thing is that ponds may vary in temperature, but the temperature of variation in the pond it is gradual. So therefore the fish is allowed to the fish easily um adjust to the temperature change. 
right? Um, making it this is not really detrimental to the, the fish, the fish health. Um, pond maintenance is cheaper. Um, it doesn't require much to clean a pond. A pond. It doesn't require much to clean a pond. A pond can be clean. But what happens is that the vegetation within the pond will actually use the nutrients that is that is um, excreted from the fish that lives in their pond. So the vegetation will get thicker and thicker and thicker and overgrow within the pond. So you can determine the amount of vegetation which actually um, exists within your pond. And you can use this as a marker as to when to clean your pond. What you need to do, however, is to change water on a regular basis. Now, um, so pond, per, some persons use pumps and filters and skimmers and all that in pond to keep them clear and all that. But when you look at the Amazon River, the only good thing about that water is that the water is constantly flowing, so therefore the water is is always fresh. You get to see the fish himself, right? When you talk about aquariums that is that it has such um, fandangles in it, which allows the fish to look beautiful and the water very very clear. In, in, in rivers such as these, <laughs> it's amazing. People say that they 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 are keeping their fish down. Um, similar to what exists out there in the wild, but this is not in the wild. The wild is like in a pond, right? Um, but the aesthetic beauty of the tank really, you know, really brings out the the, the, the joy for many. Um, thus, I, I won't disagree with individuals who suggest that they prefer tanks more than pond. A pond doesn't allow you to see the fish as often as as the tanks do. I will get back to that. Alright? Um, ponds allow you to make ponds allow you to actually keep more fish. Right? The the more large the larger the, larger the pond is is the more fish you can keep. Thus person tend to keep ponds, breed fish, rear fish, but they would actually use tanks so as to as a, I mean, a look for, for where they are. At. For example, a tank can be placed in the living room, the veranda, wherever you are, so as to make the aesthetic feeling of the area kind of be, you know, unique, nice, attractive, looking good, calm, you know, you feel different with that. But the real question is should the fish live in an environment that is approved by you? Or should a fish be living in an environment that is approved by it, right? This is a question in which um, some persons might even say tank is better than a pond. But to me, I prefer pond, right? Um, let's look. I'm spending too much time on pond. Uh, I, I might end up getting back on this topic in the future. But let us look a little bit on uh, on, on tanks. Now, tanks. The number one reason why a lot of persons actually in like aquariums tanks is because it allows you to actually view your fish stock i mean imagine you have some rainbow fish in a 200 um 2000 gallon tank and like let's say that you have a little 300 rainbow fish swimming up and swimming down swimming across swimming you know having different colors i mean this will look really beautiful but the issue is with so many rainbow fish within one tank, or tank, right? What's the possibility of those rainbow fish actually procreating and actually having babies? Right? Eventually, these fish will get sick, they will die, and you will need to replenish them. So, if you have all these fish in one tank, what will mean is that after a while, the fish will die. You won't have no more fish within that tank because no procreation has been taking place. I don't know if it's because I'm a fish breeder why I do things like that, right? But I look at the whole idea of regeneration of fish stock. Now, um, the, the tank also allows you to identify issues. And this is one of the reasons why I really have aquarium, aquariums, right? Uh, aquariums actually allows you to identify issues in which you may have 
building your fish stock. I mean, you can identify ink, you can identify clam fins, you can identify issues in which the fish may have so as to treat them um, the most appropriate way so as to get them healthy again. So, tanks have their products, right? Okay, tanks also add to the decor of wherever you may reside, right? Having a tank within a, 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 a let's say, within a storefront of, you know, you have a department store or, you have, or a food court and you have a large tank there, um, especially if, the, if, 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 if where you are at is like a restaurant that serves um, seafood and you have a big tank with some, some large fish that comes from the sea it says a lot to your business and it, it kind of adds to the aesthetic nature of this business so tank is good in, in that sense right okay um a tank is more secure uh, i can imagine you have some nice fish within your pond here yeah. 2000 3000 gallon tank pond right and um when you come out to check you realize that a, a heron have actually taken up a big fish and it's flying away really i bet they, they have two raccoons making boats to go into the pond to actually get some fish to eat right um, whenever you have a fish tank or aquarium it is securely placed in your home um it is covered thus um all those little insects or it's not insects all those little critters that will come to steal your fish from out of the pond doesn't have access in addition to what was just um, shared a while ago regarding the tank, one of the sole benefits of having an aquarium or a tank is that it also helps you to cater for specific needs of different type of fish, which will be really difficult for you to actually imitate, right, using a pond. Thus, um, an aquarium really best fits that. For example, let's look at the curry dog. Let's look at that curry um, catfish. Right? For you to actually um, breed curry catfish, you'll have to put them in a glass aquarium because each time they lay the eggs, they're going to go back and they're going to eat the eggs. Your pond also allows you to cater for the special needs that a fish may have. A fish may require some special treatment that you cannot really administer while that fish is in the pond for example let's say that you're breeding um beta fish or some people call it fighter right now a beta fish is better kept into an aquarium than in a pond it's a small one and two um the male and the female do their things exhaling but if the female tries to come near the eggs or the male the male will beat it to death thus for observational purposes it would be best to do that rainbow fish uh rainbow fish can go up to three four inches in length right um what works for the rainbow fish with ponds is that if the pond is very big and have a lot of vegetation go for it however if the pond is small not much vegetation it's best if you have a tank why because this tank allows you to observe the fish while it's full creating right and whenever the eggs are laid, you know that rainbow fish along with other fish such as um, the bags, like tiger bags, female bags, blue bags, empire bags, um, tetra, right, should I say, right? These fish actually eat their eggs after they have laid it. So therefore, um, if you have an environment where it, 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 it allows these fish to actually um, spawn and not eat the eggs, well, go for it, right? So, and go on. I like ponds and I like aquariums. It's kind of difficult to make a choice, but uh, given all the perks that that offers within ponds, I go for ponds. What do you think? I am mindful of the fact that some persons throughout the world live in environments wherein it is not conducive to have fish in ponds. Um, for the 365 and a quarter days within the year. I know that you have a seasonal variation which disallow certain fish to be outside, to, especially during the cold period. Only goldfish koi and I, I can't recall the other fish which 
is, is common kept within the hobby that is conducive to the whole idea of being in ponds during winter or during the end part of autumn. However, I live in the tropics, and thus um, coming to my conclusion is based on my experience, based on my environment in which we live. The application of my view to your perspective or to what you are presently doing with regards to fish keeping is only applicable if you live within a similar environment. You should always be the perks or should I say the advantages and disadvantages, right? Um, if you are going to be having a, a tank and the tank um, you want to have an environment which is natural to the decor of the, the habitat of the fish in which you are breeding or caring or you know rearing right it is best that you do some research and decorate your tank accordingly thanks for joining fish keeping job thanks for watching i hope that you will watch the other videos in which i will take up um issues regarding tank and pond i enjoy this because it's um based of my experience bye bye don't forget to press the like and subscribe button and you can share this video with a friend peace